30 3D printing hacks in 30 days. If you've ever tried to print a model at 100% infill, then you know it can take a very long time to print. But what if I told you it didn't have to be that way? So if you lower the infill percentage to 99% on Kira, you'll get almost the exact same result, but you'll save a ton of printing time. You can see that change saved over two hours of printing time on this Ditto model. But the outcome is pretty much the same. Here's another example on this tool holder model. With this simple change, we saved almost an hour of print time. Today's hack is called salt annealing. You're going to start off by putting your parts into a container of salt and then packing more salt on top of them and making sure it's packed very tightly. Next we'll be putting that container into the oven at 200 degrees for at least two hours. Next we'll be taking it out of the oven and here's the fun part. We get to dig for our 3D printed parts inside. This one is a bottle opener. It didn't turn out that well. And this other one is a retraction test print. Give those a quick rinse in the sink, and here we can see the results. The layer lines have vanished. Now we can see what happens when I try to break the original part. It breaks right at the layer lines. And when I try to break the new part, the layers have fused together. It will not break at the layers. Since I printed the bottle opener at 70% infill, it didn't turn out that well. It has all these voids in it. But regardless, it's still plenty strong, and it's able to open this bottle. Do you have an issue with stringing on your 3D prints? Well, as you probably know, it's best to fix this by adjusting your printing temperature, your retraction settings, and keeping your filament dry. But, what if I told you there was another way? If your print is already finished and it's got stringing on it, you can always try using the lighter hack. So basically you can blast your part for just a second with the lighter, and it'll clear up a lot of this micro stringing. Let's take another look at that in slow motion. Now that's pretty awesome, huh? Today's hack, we're going to be talking about the Kira Marketplace. You can find this by clicking Marketplace in the upper right hand corner of Kira. And basically this is an open marketplace for all sorts of printing extensions that can help optimize your printing experience. And today we'll look at the Calibration Shapes extension specifically. So then we'll go ahead and click Install and then we'll have to restart Kira. So Calibration Parts is really nice because all the parts are now stored within your Kira. You no longer have to go searching Thingiverse to find a retraction or overhang model. So this hack can help you save time when you're tuning your printer. For today's hack, we're going to go to the Kira Marketplace and search for Auto Orientation. Now this is a really cool extension that can automatically rotate your parts to be printed in the fastest way possible. You can see on the build plate I've selected multiple parts by holding shift and clicking on them. And now I'll go up to the extensions and auto orientation and click on the first fast option there. And now all the parts have been automatically laid down to print as fast as possible. A fair bit of warning though, this extension isn't foolproof and sometimes the fastest way to print isn't the way you want to print your part when considering strength. So you should always double check the orientation to make sure it matches your design intent. Are you getting bored of your regular smooth 3D prints? Well now you can try fuzzy 3D prints. Aside from having a fun new surface texture, this feature can also help hide blemishes, like on the back side of this Ditto print here. It's really easy to add this feature. Just go to Kira in the settings area and search fuzzy, and then you'll find it under the experimental section. With this setting selected, you can slice your model and then go over to the preview window, and then you'll see that your model automatically has this fuzzy skin applied to it. Have you ever done a batch print and had one bad part mess up the whole batch? Oh, it can be frustrating. So I found out there's a setting in Kira called Print Sequence that can help with this problem. Normally when we print six parts, it'll print all of them simultaneously, like this. But if we go to Print Sequence and select one at a time, as suggested, it'll print the parts one at a time. The downfall to this though is you have to space your parts pretty far apart, depending on the size of your print head. And if you're not careful, there's more chance of having a printing head collision. You can see from this print that even though one of the parts failed, the other three parts printed out just fine. For today's 3D printing hack, if you have a stripped out screw in one of your 3D printed parts, you don't have to throw that away. There's actually a pretty easy way to fix that. Let me show you how. All you'll need is a purge line from a 3D print. You should have a ton of those. You're going to take the screw out and stick the purge stick into the screw hole. And then you can start the screw back into the hole and thread it in until it's tight. Then afterwards you can clip off the end that's sticking out and now you have a little bit more use out of your 3D printed part. 
Sometimes printing with a single color is just too boring. So you can add a second color to spice things up. So we're going to take this blue reel of filament and swap it out for this orange reel. All you have to do is pull out the filament mid print and swap in a new one as fast as you can. And if you're not feeling so bold, you can always add in a pause command to your printing script to stop mid print. Now let's look at the final result. Do you have too many extra rafts from your 3D prints? Here I've got a few ideas for raft uses just for you. Use your raft as a beverage coaster. Or you can use your raft as a bookmark. With a nice big raft you can clean up a mess off your desk. You can even use rafts as a toy for your cats. Results may vary. And this one is my personal favorite. I like to keep my extra rafts around as sort of a color catalog so I can use them to determine what colors to use on upcoming designs. Leave a comment down below what you do with your extra rafts at home. Today's 3D printing hack will be in the Kira Marketplace. We'll want to locate the settings guide and install that. Once Kira is restarted, you can find the settings guide by going to extensions and settings guide. Here you can browse the entire settings guide and see detailed pictures and explanations and sometimes videos of how these settings work. This guide is key in helping accelerate your development of 3D printing knowledge. Additionally, this guide will automatically pop up if you hover your mouse above any of the printer settings while you're in Kira. It will help give you pictures and detailed explanations. This guide is essential in helping to further your 3D printing knowledge. For today's hack, we'll be looking at top and bottom line width. That will help give us incredible quality on our top surfaces. So first, make sure you have top and bottom line width added to your settings checklist. Starting out, the default line width should be 0.4 millimeters. Let's go ahead and adjust that to 0.2 millimeters, and we can see that added about 14 minutes to the print time. And here we can already start to see the improvements from the slicer preview window. And now let's take a look at the final parts. Wow, what an incredible improvement from such a small change. For today's hack, we're going to be looking at ironing as a way to smooth out the top surface and bring our print quality up to the next level. So from the Cura settings, we're going to enable ironing and monotonic ironing order. So what is ironing anyways? Well, it's pretty similar to ironing your clothes, except on the 3D printer, we're going to be dragging our hot metal nozzle across the surface of the print to smooth out the layer lines, and we won't be extruding any filament at this time. And the monotonic part of that just basically means your printing path will move from one side of the print to the other without jumping around too much. Now I've got our part sliced and the ironing just added 7 minutes to the print. So now let's check out the results on this bottle opener. We can see how smooth the surface is now from the ironing. And here we can compare the printing results from standard printing, reduced line width, and enabling the ironing function. Now those are some smooth results. Today's printing hack is to embed a part into your print mid-print. I've done that here with this bottle opener when PLA just isn't strong enough to get the job done. And if you're wondering how I did that, I just slipped this coin into the part mid-print. You can also add a pause function to make this a little bit easier. When doing this type of print, you want to be very careful that you don't insert the part too early and risk having your nozzle crash into the part. It's also pretty common for people to embed nuts or magnets into their part for some extra functionality. Are you struggling with excessive support material on your prints? I mean, there's got to be a better way, right? Nobody wants this much support material on one print. Introducing conical supports. This is an excellent way to reduce the amount of support material you need for your print. Now we can see the support material on this part is going to be way easier to remove than before. So you can spend more time printing and less time depaneling.